Sweet truck, man. How much you want for it? Nah, it's not for sale. I'm selling what is in the back. Oh. <laughs> Looks like a bunch of junk in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> I came today to a pawn shop to sell my 2000 Porsche Carrera 911 engine. I know about the engines because I work in a young yard. That's my job, to sell parts. I like to sell it about 4,500. I think the less I can get is around uh, 3,600. What do you got here? It's a 2000 Porsche Carrera 911 engine. Porsche motors are really cool. Uh, this motor right here, it's a six cylinder, water cooled, pancake motor. They're much better balanced. You can put a much lower profile on the motor. Porsche engineers really built some fast cars. Back in the 1930s, Porsche was started by a guy named Ferdinand Porsche. His first big success, the Volkswagen Beetle. He actually built it under orders from Adolf Hitler. Where did you get it? I get it from my junkyard. I bought the engine because I want to build a Baja. I off-road a lot, too, and the six-cylinder Porsche motors are great for Baja. Do you mind if I take a closer look at it? Take a look, man. OK. Uh, was it right by the ocean? Yeah. Because it looks like it's got a lot of water damage. But not inside, just outside. I asked the guy in the junkyard to run it out so I can hear the engine, so it was a smooth engine. Do you know how long it sat? A couple years. OK. When you're buying an engine, there's nothing scarier than the words junkyard. There's 101 things that could have happened to this motor, and I have no idea what it was. There's just a lot of variables. How much you want for it? Uh, 4,500. It's a cool motor, but I got some concerns. It looks like water damage. I just want someone to look at it, all right? All right. All right, let me go give him a call. I'll be right back. All right, man. I'm positive that this mechanic is coming. It's going to say it's going to be a good engine. So what do we got, man? It's a Porsche engine. The guys call me down on a regular basis to come check out something if it's uh, automotive related or motorcycle related for the most part. Well, you know I'm a Porsche fan. Porsche's definitely got their act together. I mean, they're great performance motors. They're lightweight. They got a great low center of gravity, you know, because everything's set down on the bottom like that. An engine like this, it's a valuable engine. If you went to buy this brand new from the factory, brand new, you're probably going to spend anywhere between 15 and 20 grand to get it. Lots of times people will buy a Porsche motor, and sometimes guys like to try and retrofit them into uh, like a dune buggy or a sand rail type of situation. So, you know, there's, there's quite a few uses for a Porsche motor. So, Rick, tell me, uh, what's your concerns about this? Um, it looks like it's got some water damage, and it looks like it's been sitting for a long time. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of compartments that should have been closed up, and they're all open. When things are left open, like this throttle body is left exposed and these fuel rails are left exposed, there's ways to get inside this engine. So what's going on on the surface is, is going to be going on to an extent inside, and that's the unknown. We really don't know what's going on inside there. All right, so what do you think? It makes me nervous. The only way to make sure it's right is i got to open it up. You're wrong. It's a good engine. It's not going to make you no problems. If you bring a good mechanic, he will tell you what to do. Well, brother, they did bring a good mechanic. And I do know what we got to do with this motor. And I'm speaking the truth about it. So that's just how it is. I don't think uh, all the corrosion can go inside the engine because there is no pressure. So they won't go inside the injectors. And I think you have to bring a good mechanic, I mean, a professional one, that they can know what to do. Danny's my man. I mean, this guy can fix anything. Absolutely. He did bring a good one. Not anything. He doesn't know me. He doesn't know my background, so I'll let that one slide. But the rule of thumb here is you got to know what you're buying. And frankly, we just don't know what's there. Thanks, Danny. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Love you, brother. Catch See you later. later. I'm just glad Danny's a cool customer, because it could have got ugly. All right. You know, thanks a lot, man. I'm just going to, I'm going to pass. I mean, there's just, it scares me too much. You don't want to even want to make a, an offer? I don't want to make an offer. And I just don't think the risk reward is here. So thanks for bringing it down. Right. I appreciate it. Um, good luck with it. Thanks. I know about engines. I know about parts. It was bad for me, but I think I can sell it.